Hello, today is April 4th, 2020. We'll go over our calls. We look for the pattern with the early low, a late high. This is it. We said it's usually a rally day, but if we drop early in the first hour or two, that's the one time it's negative, and it leads to further declines in days to come. That's the pattern we have now. I didn't make a prediction as to whether we'd have the normal rally or the early drop. We did have a prediction back from March 25th that this number would print. It's equivalent printed overnight in futures and that marked the low and so there was some relevance to it but uh, it has to print in regular trading hours to be taken off the list. The fact that we saw it in futures doesn't require us to see it soon in regular trading hours but I think that happens more often than not. During the day, we had a sell signal right here, and that worked. In the afternoon, we had um, an ultimate sell and an ultimate buy. Normally, any move you get in this thing after these patterns doesn't lead to much. You can go lower, you can go higher, but normally you wind up right within the range of the reference bar, which is pretty much what we did. MJT said this drop wouldn't stop, wouldn't stick. We had a minimum target of overtaking this line, but almost always you get more than the minimum. So that pattern's played out. We had um, a new high here, but it was immediately rejected. When it gets rejected, I start counting from the high that comes after it, and you'll see that we have a 50% retracement of this drop. This I count as part of the rally. This is where the drop starts. So that's not very encouraging if you want higher prices. It particularly isn't encouraging when you have an overlapping ABC and C is equal to twice A. Here's um, what we said dropping significantly in the first hour or two leads to further weakness lasting more than the day. That still is what I think is going to happen. Now here's the long-term count. You can see that we're stopping right at these, this consolidation or meeting resistance where these prior lows took place. It's heavy resistance. I think it's going to be pretty tough to break through it. This is the count we have. We're assuming we're one, two, three, four. And whether or not this fourth wave is complete, as I believe it is, even if you're making an ABC to complete four, I don't see three waves down as being completed. You can force the count by making this ABC and calling that C. But if you force the count, you have to assume it's wrong. This is the count I'm using. We threatened to invalidate it, but that didn't happen. We moved in a straight line down to the 38.2% retracement. That's not holding. It's pretty much a given. When you move here in a straight line and it doesn't hold, you should move down to the 61.8% retracement, which is 23.63. It's not a stop in reverse, but I think we're going to drop to that level. You can see that we've tested these lows here. One, two, three, four, five times. We've tested the highs three times, rejected them immediately every time. Usually they have a consolidation. You test the lows more often than you test the highs. The lows are going to break. All you have to do is see if this recovery is over. And while you can't be certain of the wave count, you like to have one that says it is. Well, if we start from this as being the end of four, you can count this as wave one. 
You have an ABC with clear fibs that all work. You have wave two ending within wave four of prior degree. So if we do drop from here, there certainly is a reasonable explanation. Well, Monday's pattern has the early high. It doesn't mean you won't get down. It is, it is positive that we dropped all day, couldn't manage a close into the midday low. But again, don't forget we had a wall into the close straight up. And this isn't when institutions go long. I think it's sh short covering. And if it is short covering on the Friday, we should get up under this low and probably lower. It's negative. We had a high to low pattern. Early drop leads to further drops. Not closing near its high. It's negative. Mixed signals. The rules apply. Most common is we gap and move outside the day's range. I don't think the down move is complete. I'm looking for a gap and a prompt move under Friday's low. Initial, the initial target is 23.63. Doesn't all have to happen in the day. And it's a target. It's not a stop and reverse. As always, if you gap up smartly, it kills the call before the open. But unless you gap and promptly overtake Friday's high, I think the most significant and I think the most obvious, the most logical consequence from here is a significant drop, with this being at least an ABC and possibly five waves down. So, looking for a drop, cap down under these lows. If I'm wrong, it should be obvious before the open. Don't forget to gap sharply up. It kills the call before the open. Otherwise, I think... Lower prices are on the way, and that's today's call.